Newcastle Fans TV. Hello everybody, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. You're thinking, who's this guy? Who's this guy? What's he doing on Newcastle Fans TV? But for a very, very good reason, me and Matty are here at Newcastle, but it's pronounced a little bit differently, isn't it? And Newcastle, but it's for a very, very good reason. Newcastle Fans TV will be taken on the Magpie channel on the 24th of July. Here big rematch. On, it is a big rematch, <laughs> isn't it? Like, after the 11 of sides where... I think he's just narrowly won 5-1. Um, <laughs> looking for no, revenge, I reckon, are you? Oh, well, we'll try our best anyway. But we're here for a very, very good reason. We're raising money this time for the Beer Game Changer campaign, which is, of course, Newcastle United Foundation. Um, Matty, before we talk about the match itself, a fantastic opportunity to raise some money for a very, very good cause. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's, it's what we're all keeping together to do. Yeah, two channels coming together, two fan TV channels coming together, battling out on the pitch. But no matter what the score, it's all about, uh, it's all about the Beer Game, game Changer campaign, which is... Close to me as well, to be fair, close to a lot of people in in this region. So, really looking forward to the day, and really looking forward to hopefully getting some good funds raised for for a great cause. Yeah, the Be a Game Changer campaign for people that don't know is a mental health uh, campaign to get men to talk more often about you know mental health struggles if they do have those sort of struggles. Men is a real, it's a silent killer if you like, where we don't talk about our feelings and you know we just keep it locked in in ourselves, but. It's something that's very, very important. You know, we, we probably know somebody that has suffered with mental health issues. I know Josh has been very, very open, who's a part of Newcastle Fans TV, of course. His stories, you know, it's just inspiring more than anything else. But I think everybody can relate in, in some way in regards to this sort of campaign, Matty. Yeah, absolutely. I think, especially since COVID, for me, that's when it really hit me with COVID, mental health and stuff, being stuck in the house and anxiety going up and everything you know, the world's been a, a mental place the last couple of years we're finally getting back to a bit of normality but uh you know people have got got a lot of issues with the mental health rightfully so it's great that these campaigns are out there we can publicize them more and people are going to realize it's, it's it's okay to have these, these these thoughts and these feelings you know yeah very much so. and football is a release of course you might not be able to see in the background but st james's part is pretty much in the background and it is a release to a lot of people where they just let their emotions out for 90 minutes <laughs> that's COVID though that oh, was the problem was. being in lockdown not being able to go to the match on a saturday see your mate see i was gonna say brucey ball that, that made things worse <laughs> but now especially you know we can all look forward to the new season for a change and uh yeah look forward to this look forward to this kick about on the in a couple weeks time yeah it's very much so it will be in newcastle fans tv this is the magpie channel matt he's going to have a few people that you probably might know on youtube as well he's not going to give too much away today but i'm sure you'll have a vlog on his channel later on but for all the information if you want to you know if you can give anything like i said we have got we've got a target of 250 pounds and i'm sure between the two channels you know matt you'll have the link on his channel as well that we try and raise that amount of money because i think we're Newcastle United fans. I'm sure we can do that. We know we can. We know how to reach targets. We know how to get to get those uh, big, big, uh, you know, goals in life as well. So all the information will be in the link as well. Matt, you'll have everything on his socials as well. Um, but 250 pounds. It's not a lot in the grand scheme of things, but I'm sure we can do it between the both of us, can't we? Oh, I'm confident. I I really hope so. Like, um, I think it's something we're going to achieve. I mean, we, we've only got a couple of weeks, I suppose. We'll keep pushing it out there and. Get some good videos out on the day and make sure the link stays after the after the match and stuff. Sure, it's gonna be chinny pocket, even though times are tough, I suppose as well. Like, but it's for a good cause. Yeah, and it's gonna be on the 24th of July, a 2:30 kickoff. If you want to come along and watch, by all means, you're more than you're more than welcome to. If you if you want Newcastle fans TV to win, if you want the Magpie channel to win, it doesn't really matter. Just come along and if you can help, we'll have a little bucket as well. So if you've got a few extra pennies, it'll make a massive difference, and hopefully we can get to our target. But just finally, actually on the game itself, Matty. Mm. You want to make it two in a row, don't you? Oh, we want to make it 1-1 one, one, right. and at least take some shots around the pitch. In terms of the pitch size itself, it's not the biggest, but the goals are massive. So if there's no goals or there's not a lot of goals, you can tell we're pretty, pretty much <laughs> average at football, can't you? I've got to say I'm really, really delighted that we're playing 6-8, a side, not 11-8 a side again. Because that 11-8 a side game a few years ago absolutely killed me. Like I was knackered after about two minutes. And that is actually the last time I kicked the ball. It's actually. I haven't played football oh since then, so it's about four years. Scored a penalty on that day. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to try and score one here in front of the St. James Park in the background there. But like you say, it's a, it's a really nice pitch, though, isn't it? It's all fresh, new. And these goals, uh, we should, should be able to bury a few goals. Should be a big score lane, hopefully. We said that when we played Sunderland, right? We played Sunderland and it was pretty much more or less exactly the same. The pitch maybe a tad bigger. And we're thinking, that'll oh, be like 8-7, eight, 7-6, seven, seven, something like that. It was 3-2. Obviously, we just about won. But we, we did the job in the end. But uh, yeah, it should be really, really good. Newcastle fans team are looking to get something. They think and win. It's a bonus. It really will be. But um, it would be nice if it was a draw and a way to set up a big finale. <laughs> a big trilogy. Out. A big trilogy. <laughs> if it was 1-1 one, one on the day, and then we'd have to come back and do a, do a third one, wouldn't we, for the decider? Yeah. But uh, I'm not going to lie. Another 5-1 would go down a tree. 
not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Get your comments in below as well. Who do you think is going to win? But most importantly, if you can help out, again, the links will be in the description for the Beer Game Changer campaign, of course, which is part of Newcastle United Foundation. A big thanks to the Foundation for letting this film on the pitch as well. But 24th of July, literally, it's not too long. Can we get 250 quid donated for the Foundation? I'm sure we can. There'll be videos from myself and from Matty in the next couple of weeks as well. Like and subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV. Also, give a little shout out to Renty's channel as well, the Magpie channel as well. Give them a like and a follow and a subscribe. A little bit of everything, why not? We'll plug you as well. Lovely stuff. And we'll see you all very soon.